Well, let's prove a point, shall we? And a warm welcome to one and all. If this is your first time here, I am the overgrown child that is the scruffy trader that apparently can't trade even though I trade every single day, post it on here, show my statements, and earn a living from this. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. Shocker. What a strange world we live in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the screen up. I'm going to trade the DAX. Oh, no. You have caused confusion and delay and terrible trouble to my trousers. Thank you very much. Is that for me? Thank you coffee because we all know scruffy likes it coffee so it calms me down most people get some hyperactive in one thing and another but me i like a coffee it just helps me chill out what about you what gets you hyperactive apart from this oh. <laughs> going on holiday soon so i'm getting all excited and how am i going on holiday well funny enough i was trading and uh, it paid me and then then that money went in the bank uh, and the bank manager said, oh, Scruffy, you, you, you're in credit. You paid all your bills and you've got a bit left over. So I thought I'd spend it. Who'd be stupid enough to do that? Justify, stupid. It's funny, this economics thing, isn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, just being sarcastic. Anyway, let me um, fire this up. Do go in the comments of some of the videos. Um... All, all I'll say to, to people that slag me off is if you know the full facts, that's fine. But we all trade different and we all trade our own way. And just because I'm different to you doesn't mean I'm bad at it. It just means you don't understand it. And let's put it this way. If 90% of what you are I rephrase it. If 90% of traders are claimed to fail in trading, surely 90% of what you listen to is absolute horseshit. That's my theory because the guy who taught me how to do this was a commercial bank manager. And I come from a business background. So I think completely different to what is peddled in the market by people that just rent a car, rent a house and say, I've done this. <laughs> I don't see any evidence of it, but I provide evidence for what I do and I shouldn't have to defend myself. Um, and I, and I do this because I was doing it anyway, flip the screen on. And I also like to back up what I'm talking about when I say something to the guys in the scruffy squad. So if that all makes sense and it's your first time here, I am sorry, but I do get on a rant from time to time because I'm old and I live with her and she can get anybody on a rant. It's like oh, living with well, of course I'm going to blame you. It's like living with a cat. You know, some, some days you're stroking it and it's lovely and nice to you. And then in the next minute, it's clawing your face off. Stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! That about right? <laughs> yeah, it is. She, she's wild. She is. She's absolutely wild. <laughs> well, you are. You've got an extremely good... Uh... Matron, take them away! Oh. You, you, is your trade doing well? It's getting better. All right, I'm not going to get belted today then. Happy days, happy days. Right, my trade's about to pop into action. So let us have a little look at it. Okay, now I'll leave this as a single camera shot. Why? Just so that you can't see, or, or that you can see everything going in as it is. Uh, yes, I do have multi-screen set up because I trade on one screen. I have social media and whatever you're on another because I like to talk to guys when, when I'm trading and also i like to listen to music you've got to listen to your music guys and you know you've got to have your meatloaf on and god knows whatever else what have i got today what do you mean oh no there's a there's a playlist for you it's queen today queen fantastic can it be queen there there they go how good is that and then then then, then we'll go into the monkeys for well, we put the monkeys on for a good reason. That's for all the daydream believers who don't think I can do what a job is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then, then, then we have a little bit of wigwam bam. 
Oh, oh, oh. Don't get that. Wig wham bam. Let's see. You love that, don't you? You look you love a bit of wig bam bam, don't you? Oh, that's disgusting. In fact, I've even got headphones now. Your music is so bad. Shut up, you can. <laughs> right, let's rock and roll. Why am I doing this? Because I said I would. I told the guys this morning it's the Dax, and I'll pull this up in the Discord in a second because I'm about to drop an order in. And um, are we ready to go? E I think we are near enough yes no i'll leave i'll leave it a second i want to see it unwind a little bit first and then i'm going to go into this but basically what i'm doing is you can if i scroll this out you can see all my marks it's had a thumper of a run up it's consolidated it's dropped off and now it's starting to creep back up and the score point is around here do 10 15 pips i'm quite happy and then for those who say ah well you you stopped uh, too wide for 10 pips then you have no concept of banking principles and pound averaging um all the 10 pip target is is a bare minimum to make certain it's worth taking the trade if it's anything less than that it ain't worth it but if you stage backwards your 10 pip can become a hundred pip very easily and it's a simple system if you understand it but if you don't you, you'll be well you, you're just putting yourself in front of the freight train all the time shall we say i don't go full position at the start i put my toe in and i build a position and my return on investment is far superior than two to one but people don't get that because they only see a fraction of what, what they think or they see what they want to see you're taller than i imagined i'm bigger in every department and i had a guy today saying he knows my strategy i don't know him from adam and he hasn't got a clue what i do but apparently he knows you know you're a classic example of the inverse ratio between the size of the mouth and the size of the brain read into that what you will so where are we at what are we doing I don't need these blue lines anymore, so I'm going to get rid of them. Just, just get rid of these because it's been a, a runner today. So the plan is you can see that, see the consolidation, see the drop, and now I'm looking for a continuation back to this level. Now, this could easily squeeze down to here, so I need to be prepared for that. But the targeting point is up here. Simple as that. And remember, a 10 to 15 is a bare minimum and just a reason as to why I think it might be worth it. All right, hope that makes sense. Now, I did touch on that I show the guys what I'm doing. Um, let's have a look. See, see what's happening with these today. Oh, they're having a, a little bit of a merriment because you've got to have a bit of merriment, guys. Uh, otherwise, what's the point? Um, okay, they're off and running. Uh, Mr. Anderson's done for the day. Well done. Blackbeard, he, he's doing all right. Um, Steph's doing all right. I'm doing all right. Guys are doing all right. So let's have a look. Indices. There we are. Hit there. Gold. So I'm really proud of the guys. They're coming on leaps and bounds. But on a morning... I put a strength sheet in. This was done at 20 to 7 this morning. It's now 20 past 10. So they know what basket to look at. I take that a little bit further. And I'll put biases in. So not only do they know what to look at. They'll know what direction I'm going in as well. So that's kind of what I'm looking at today. I'm staying roughly out of Forex this week. There's a lot of the news. Today's Bank of England. Yesterday was FOMC and tomorrow is non-farm payroll. And it's a short week because there's a lot of holidays around this time. So the markets are erratic. So what do you do? You sit out of it. But I trade the DAX every day because I like the DAX. And I did that at 10 to 8 this morning. So that's when I've made my call for this trade. So let me see. There you are. See, it's it's dipping back now, which is correct. 
So I was right to not enter the market. And that's one of the things about trading. You want to be consistent in trading? Learn how to wait. I'm consistent because I only take a trade when it's time to take a trade, not when I think it's time. There's a difference. So let me run it and I'll come back to you at the end. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to kill this off because it's coming up 10 to 12. And there is a Bank of England rate release at 12 o'clock. Now, I know you can say, well, what does that do to the market? Well, it can throw it quite a bit. So the plan is to come out, see what happens, and then maybe go back in. But I don't need to. So I'm going to kill this now. There we go. So that's 80 quid. I have nothing running at this moment in time and there's another 80 quid added into the balance that you saw me do yesterday so it's the same account running forward so again um, do I need to trade any further no because I've already done my week's wages this week and that's it really um, I only did today's trade really maybe it's just to prove a point i shouldn't have done it but sometimes i do get a b in my bonnet and the key part of it was i might have a b in my bonnet but i still followed the plan i don't let my emotions run wild on the charts um the, the longer you're on the charts the more in tune you you come with them and that's just experience, guys. Now, when it comes to consistency, it doesn't matter what you trade. Genuinely doesn't. Um, you want to trade a moving average cross? You trade a moving average cross. You want to trade an oscillator movement? You trade an oscillator movement. You want to be a momentum trader like what I am? Then you trade momentum. It's what you do afterwards that makes you successful. And what does that mean? Well, it means how do you manage your trade? Well, the first part of management is knowing which trade to take in the first place. And that's why you see my sheet. It filters things out. If there's nothing in that basket, because I'll only look at the basket it pulls up, the rest of them I just ignore. What happens is I mightn't see something. And if I don't see it, I don't trade it. So that's the first part of management. No way! Now the next part is sifting through that little basket and just pick one that is the best. That's the second part because you filtered all the noise out. Now you're moving down into which is the best product and if none of them work, you should have a basket that you know will work every day. Well to me it's the majors, it's the DAX, it's FTSE. I do look at oil and I do look at gold. I don't trade them that much because I don't need to. Um, I just trade the DAX mainly. Why? Because it's fast. I can get in and I can get out very quickly. 
But again, if the trade isn't there, you don't trade it. So you look at the DAX, you look at the FTSE, you look at oil, those three, you know, and you pick the best one of them. And then you compare it against the best one on Forex. So am I going to go with the DAX today or am I going to go with cable? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this one's better, so I'm going with this one. And then trade it, manage it. And when you're paid, that's it. So you trade once, twice a day. But the rest of the time is research. And that's what makes you consistent. If you think you're just going to rock up at the chart, switch it on and go, well, I'm here. Come on, give us a trade. I'm here. And you go searching for a trade. Well, you've lost before you start because you're gambling. What you need to be doing is figuring out the market that can move and then find the trade within the market rather than hunting around the market looking for a trade. I hope that makes sense. That's what makes me consistent. I do my homework before I press the button. Now, if I'm only trading one market, I will trade a single market that I know can shift every day. So in this case, if I had nothing else to trade and I was told I only had one product I can trade for life, it'll be the DAX. Why? Because I get in, I get out very quick and I understand it. If my account isn't big enough for it, because that's the next thing, this is what breeds consistency as well. You've got a big account, it's easy to ride the noise out. You've got a small account and you try to ride the noise out. Good luck with that one. So I would look for something that's calmer. So I would trade the FTSE. If my account can't take the FTSE, I'd look for something even calmer again. I'd trade the French indices, commonly known as the CAC. All right? Hierarchy. It's not as volatile. It's a little bit gentler. But the moves aren't as big. So you've got to sit and wait. Homework. Well, that makes sense. So there we go. Um, you look in the community section of YouTube later. Uh, if I go back to market, I'll put the results in there. Uh, but at the minute, I don't think I really need to. I might just have the afternoon off. Uh, why? Because Winky's going to be nice to me. He wants to go out for dinner. So why not do that? We'll take Stormy for his little trip. How good is that? Good job. But I do cherish your, your thoughts, good, bad or indifferent. Um, there's nothing wrong with differences of an opinion, as long as you're not over opinionated with yours. It has to be a shared balance. If you disagree with me, that's cool. Um, I only do what I do. Um, but it's always nice to see a different point of view rather than poking holes in something. Just a thought. Uh, and if you want to contact me, all my contact details are in the description below. There is my preferred broker, which is Black Bull. Tight spreads, loads of products, that sort of thing. And there's a 5% discount if you want to try the prop firm. Uh, the prop firm of choice that I use, and it's the only one that I really put my name to, is the 5%ers. And if you go through the videos, you'll see live statements of that prop firm as my own live statements. You'll also see bank statements of what they've paid me. So, again, I can't get it more clearer than that when somebody's having a hole at me. I can't manipulate those statements. Nobody can. So, as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed. Don't gamble. But do what you love. And the money will follow. See you all in the next one.